body. Hallelujah to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the name of Jesus. Happy Monday morning. God bless you on today. God bless everybody on today. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let's worship our Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. We worship you. We give praises unto you, Father, for being just who you are, Father, for being the maker of heaven and earth, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah unto the name of the Lord on today. Thank you, Jesus, for another day to get it right. Thank you for bringing us through another blessed weekend. Father, thank you for bringing us to the last Monday of this month, already the last Monday of July. Can you believe it? In a couple of more days, it will be August. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are at the halftime of this year, God, and this half is going to be better than the other half because you are marvelous, God. You are almighty and you are powerful. You are amazing, magnificent, benevolent, and beneficent. Glorious Father. Glorious Father you are. You are our Elohim. You are our Jehovah Jireh. You are our Jehovah Nisi, Rapha, Shama. You are the great I am. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for an opportunity to serve an almighty and powerful being as yourself. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for letting me be your child, for creating me, for being omnipotent and present, for being omniscient. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah to your name, Father. We worship you, Father, by blessing who you are, and we praise you for all that you have done for us. Hallelujah. We worship you for who you are, God, and we praise you for all that you have done for us. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah unto your name. Ad infinitum. Ad infinitum. In every tongue and in every language. Let everything that have breath. Praise ye the Lord. Worship the Lord. Magnify the Lord. Lift him up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, you've been good. You've been good. You've been good. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, you've been good. Yes, Lord, you've been good. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let's all now lift our hands and confess our sins. Lord, we confess our sins unto you. Whether we've been running for you forever, whether we need to rededicate ourselves. And for those who need to try Jesus, let's try him right now. Don't wait. Try him right now. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. Try him right this moment. Let's all say it together. Father, we confess our sins. The ones that we know of and the ones that we don't. And bring us closer to your perfect will and purpose. So we could be who you have predestined for us to be in this life. Lord, you are our father and our redeemer. You're our father and our redeemer. We accept Jesus Christ into our hearts as our Lord and savior. And we want to follow you for the rest of our lives. And if you said that or something similar, because I can move a little fast because I'm from New Jersey, you are saved. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. I, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over Patricia Young and all her family members, friends, co-workers. Hallelujah. God bless. Let's continue to worship. Throughout the broadcast, we'll talk about tips and tools for Christianity. But right now, let's just bask in the glory of our Father. Hallelujah. Remember that worship is worshiping God for who he is. And praise is praising him for what he has done in your life. That is the difference. So let's do both on today, Father. (laughs) You are amazing. You are awesome. Your power is untouched. Your mightiness is untouched. Who you are is untouched. You cannot be defeated. Your love for us is unfailing. It keeps us from being consumed, Father. Your word, your God-breathed word brings life into our light, into our lives every day. It brings life to our lives because it is God-breathed, because it is alive. And we see it transcend through our past, our present, and our future. Father, we're so thankful that you, you left us your word. We're so thankful that Jesus Christ gave his life on the cross for us. We're so thankful. We're so thankful to be in your presence yet another day. We're so thankful, God, to hear the birds chirping, to breathe, our hearts to be beating, Father. We are thankful. We are thankful for the food that we have, for the clothes that we have, for the roof uh, over our head that we have. Father, we are thankful for our water. God, we are thankful for for our jobs. God, we are thankful for our money. God, we are thankful for our limbs. God, we are thankful for our eyesight, for our hearing. God, we are thankful for our children, our cousins, our grandchildren, great-grandchildren to come. Our mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, Lord, we are thankful for our aunties, uncles, and again, our cousins and everybody, Lord. We are thankful that you go before us when we go to work, that you come with us when we're coming back. And wherever we go, Father, that you are there. We are thankful, Father. We are thankful for your presence, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God, we thank you. Yes, God, we thank you. Yes, God, we thank you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah to the name of Jesus on today. Hallelujah to the name of Jesus on today. Thank you, Jesus Christ. You brought us a mighty long way, Father. You brought us a mighty long way, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Touch around this world, Father. Pour your spirit onto us, Father, like the day of Pentecost. We need your prophecy, God, your gift of prophecy. We need your gift to serve. We need your fruits of the spirit, your joy, your peace, your long suffering. We need your gifts of ministry, God. We need your gifts of speaking in tongues and interpreting them, God. We need all of your fruits and all of your gifts. We need your Holy Spirit on today, Father. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. We need you, God, now more than ever. Touch us, Father. Heal us, Father. Strengthen us, Father. Touch our homeless out today, Father. Touch our sick out today, Father. Touch our, 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 our addicted out today, Father. Touch our afflicted out today, Father. Touch our infirmed out today, Father. Hallelujah. Touch Puerto Rico, God. Touch Florida, God. Touch Charleston, God. Touch Ferguson, God. Touch Chicago, God. Hallelujah. Touch Maryland, God. Touch Patterson, New Jersey, God. Hallelujah. Touch Pennsylvania, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. All of these things we ask in Jesus' name. Say la and amen and amen and amen. 
Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. Hi, good reverend. The good reverend is with us. He's playing his video games in the background. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And we are going to get into this word. We are going to get into this word. Welcome to all the babies in Christ. Welcome to the rededicated in Christ. And those who've been fighting the good fight of faith, keep on fighting. Keep on fighting. Keep on fighting. Okay, you can sit right here with me, but you have to be extra quiet, okay? Because we're praying. Okay, so welcome, welcome, welcome again to the babies in Christ, the rededicated in Christ, and those who've been fighting the good fight of faith. Keep on fighting. Keep on fighting. We need soldiers. We need soldiers for the army of the Lord. God is good. And we need to use our power and our dominion and our free will for him. These next two days are the last two days of the month. And for these next two days, I'll be advocating for two special organizations. We do two new ones every month. The first one is Sister Trina Michelle's ministry, which is on step, uh, five days a week. Monday through Friday, Eastern Standard Time on Facebook. At 5.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Facebook. Don't forget that. Her ministry. And she is. Uh, she also goes into the local prisons with her husband and others. And, and preaches the word of God to them. So please be a blessing. Give your best gift. Great or small. To, to Trina Michelle Ministries. All links will be posted after the broadcast. Uh, 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 after the broadcast ends. And it, this broadcast will also be on YouTube within two hours. Okay. Also bless the ASPCA, which fights animal cruelty around the world. This particular organization, you've seen them all over the place, all over the news for helping animals everywhere, whether they be in the home, whether they be emaciated or mistreated animals to the farmland. They help. So be give your best gift and you can actually sponsor an animal. You can give a specific gift every month if you would like to Sister Trina or to the ASPCA. Ask Sister Trina how you can do that, how you can regularly pledge with her, be a covenant partner with her, and how you can stand in agreement with the ASPCA fighting animal cruelty. And I know I love my, my, my cat, Ronnie. I love him. And I wouldn't dare do anything to hurt him and nor would I want anybody hurting him. And I thank God that we have advocates in the kingdom like Sister Trina Michelle fighting, fighting in the name of the Lord for our for, for our very souls and fighting in the prisons to redeem the souls of those who are lost. Thank you, Jesus. And I thank God that the ASPCA is going around the world helping our animals and fighting for them in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. So give your best gift to Sister Trina Michelle and to the ASPCA today. And also be a blessing to this ministry. Give your best gift. It's the last two days of the month. Give your best gifts. Because the Bible says, as we sow, we shall reap. And as we plant, we shall receive our harvest. So if you are looking for a harvest on today, you need to plant. And if you are looking to reap, you need to sow. That is part of Christianity to the babies in Christ. For us to give tithes and offerings and to be charitable to one another. For the Lord Jesus Christ himself said we are to love one another as we do ourselves. We are to love one another as we do ourselves. And we are to be cheerful givers. Giving God 10%. Giving God his 10%. And you will learn more of this as you go to church. So ask God, hallelujah, if you haven't found a church home, the first part of it you've done, you've confessed all your sins. You need to do that every day because we sin every day. And the next part is to pray and you need to, in your prayer, ask God to show you a local church home, a church outside your area, or a, ch a church online that is teaching about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And again, feel free, feel free, feel free. Not only to do that, but to also be a part of this ministry. We love you and we would love to be in covenant with you. And we would love to be blessed by you because we're coming with the word of God. Seven days a week, this grassroots ministry is coming with the word of God. Seven days a week. Hallelujah. And thank you, Jesus. And all we're talking about over here is Jesus Christ. 
All we're talking about over here is Jesus Christ of Nazareth and how to live your best life in him. And in September, there will be a book that will incorporate, uh, incorporate a lot of these things that I'm talking about called Walking with God. But until then, we're going we're gonna to explain a little each and every day. And that's all right, because we all need to know. Whether we're a baby in Christ, whether we're rededicating ourselves to him, or whether we, 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 you know, we've been fighting a good fight of faith. All of us have been hurt by other people. All of us have bleed. All of us go through. All of us have dealt with trials, tribulations, situations, circumstances. And knowing how to fight those things is the best thing we could possibly do. And you fight with the word of God. You fight in the spirit by fasting and by praying and by, and, and by tithing, giving your tithes and offerings planting and sowing and as you go and learn about God you will learn more about fasting but your first parts is to confess and to, and to pray pray about everything in your life you want God to give you the Holy Spirit if you don't already have him on today because he's an ever present help a person and a friend that you need to give you advice that you need to be your friend that you need to steer you in the right direction that you need that you need to give you fruits and gifts by his indwelling and his impartation in you you need that to keep you sustained in the name of Jesus and as you as 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 you operate in the spirit praying more and 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 and, and giving more and fasting and confessing God is going to do some wonderful works in your life. He's going to do some wonderful works in your life. Also, get rid of people, places, and things that's not of God. Pray for them. Pray for them. But you cannot do anything for them if you are not spiritually strong. You need to pray for them. You need to do what you can for them. But you need to to remove yourself from people, places, and things that's not going in the direction of God. And you need to surround yourself with people, places, and things that are. You need to get in this word by downloading the free Bible app, www.bible.com and www.biblegateway.com to your electronic device. Like and share. And like and share as well. Like and share as well. And that is going to help you have a digital free tool of the Bible. Read it forwards and backwards, backwards and forwards. And on the Facebook comments after the broadcast, there will be a link for an inexpensive New Living Translation Bible. But if you cannot afford one at all, go to a local charity and church and ask them to help you to get one. Amen. So that you can be blessed. So that you can be blessed by having a physical Bible and a digital one to read every single day. And no matter how, no matter how far you go, no matter how many sin, sins you do, no matter what the sin is, you need to ask God to help you with it. You need to rebuke Satan back to the pits of hell. Say, Satan, I rebuke you back to the pits of hell from which you came as soon as he rises up. Soon as he rises up, you tell him back to the pits of hell from which you came in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And don't just let there and let him pummel over you. I rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus. That's what you need to say. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over Sister Trinace today, over her husband, over her son, over all of her co-workers, over all of her clients. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Don't let the devil just pummel over you. Rebuke him back to the pits of hell from whence he came. And also, don't just lay there. Get up, get up, get up. Because we must be like little children in order to enter the kingdom of God. And the only way we can do that is by what? Not just sitting there. Children know that, yeah, they may cry a little bit. They may, they may weep a little bit. They may hurt a little bit. But they know that they can't just sit down there forever. You'll see a child with a bump and a bruise or a scrape and everything else getting up to walk, getting up to crawl because they know they got to move. Sitting there is not going to do it. You got to move. You got to move. Get hurt and move. Go through and move. Hallelujah. Whatever it is, don't just lay there. Get up, get up, get up, get up. 
and follow your father. Be under the tutelage of your father. Listen to your father. Learn from your father. And how we're doing that is by confessing, by praying, by fasting, by tithing, by rebuking Satan, by removing ourselves from situations and circumstances that are not of him. And by surrounding ourselves with situations and circumstances and people that are of him. And if you just heard everything that I said, that will be, like I said, this will all be incorporated in the book that's coming in September. But if you just heard what I said, really heard it, this is going to help you to live your best Christian life. Good things happen to good people. Bad things happen to bad people. Bad things happen to good people. And good things happen to bad people. Life happens. Test trial situations happen. But with Jesus Christ... All things are possible through Christ that strengthens me. And Christ will strengthen you as well. He will strengthen you as well. And he will bring you out of every situation and circumstance. Just as if he will bring you out so well, people wouldn't even, won't even know what you've been through. You'll look, you won't even look like what you've been through. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. And you're zero to your 120 years. Your circumference of that 360 degrees of life is going to be the best one yet. You will have the best possible life you can here on earth. God will give you heaven here on earth and he will give you heaven in the hereafter. Because we're all aiming to hear, well done, my good and faithful servant. We're all aiming for that crown of life. Amen. So the word of God today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. The word of God today. Oh, boop. This is not plugged up. Get the um, get the plug for the laptop, please. Thank you. I'm glad you were over here. Thank you, Jesus. Make sure the get, battery don't die. Yeah, we gotta make sure the battery don't die. Make sure that that's plugged up, honey. No, it's not. Give me the other part. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hold on a minute, everybody. That's okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Honey, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. God is good. And that's why he, he made me look at it. I don't even usually look at that. I don't even usually look at that. But see, God is always, he just got it all covered. He just really do. He cares about every single thing that we care about. He cares about every single thing that we care about on today. Especially when it involves him, y'all. He cares about every single thing that we care about. We think that God don't care. God cares. He cares about every single thing that you care about. You are sir, if you are serving him and you are you you are doing the, the the very best you can to please him. If you think he don't care about what you care about, then honey, you need to think again because he cares. He even cared about this laptop not not going dead. He cared about that. Now I don't never look at that thing to see whether it's is 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 charging or not charging. But even in that God was like, look, I don't, I don't want this to go dead on you. I, I want you to continue to do what I'm telling you to do in the name of Jesus. And I thank him for that. Thank you, Lord. So with that being said, we're going into the book of Mark. Hallelujah. We're going into the book of Mark on today. Of course, which is one of the apostles, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Okay. One of the books of, 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 of them. But Jesus is speaking in this text. Jesus is speaking in this text. Okay. And we'll go a little deeper in a few moments. But Jesus is speaking in this particular text. You can see this beautiful post in the way that it is by downloading the free Bible app to your electronic device. Oh, and you can make a different background to the book verse and uh, the book chapter and verse if you want to. Also by downloading the app. Okay. Okay. But this particular verse, uh, we're going to go from here and then we're going to jump over to the Bible gateway uh, to finish up. So let's go. Matt, Mark, I was going to say Matthew, <laughs> excuse me. Mark chapter 11, verse 24 and the New International Version reads. 
Maybe I need to do it like that. Let's see if I could do it like that real quick. I'm going to get used to this thing one day. <laughs> Amen. Amen. As soon as I get used to this, let me just let me just put, throw this out there. As soon as I get used to this thing, God is going to bless me with something else where I don't even have to do nothing to it at all. <laughs> you watch what I tell you. <laughs> Bring it back to me too if I don't remember. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But anyway, <laughs> Mark chapter 11, verse 24 in the New International Version, verse of the day is, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. God bless, God bless, God bless the word of the Lord. Therefore, I tell you, huh, Jesus, whatever you ask for in prayer, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it. You got to believe that. You have to believe it. And yes, Satan is going to come against you and whisper little stupid stuff in your ear. You know what? Let me tell you something that I've learned. Let me tell you something that I've learned. Satan will do that. He will whisper little dumb things in your ear. When after right, it seems like sometimes, sometimes literally is right after you pray. He will whisper little dumb things in your ear because he knows that if you believe, if you believe that this is done, then it's already done because you're using your power. Bookings, you cannot just lean on me, dude. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not gonna work. He knows that if you believe because you are using your power remember god gave us power dominion and free will he knows that if you are using these things he knows that if you are using if you are using your power you are using your your dominion you are using your free will and you are sending a prayer up he knows that if you have confessed your sins and you are sending a prayer up that god has heard you and he knows that when God hears you, he knows that this is coming to pass. I want you to really get this out today. He knows that this is going to happen because God's word doesn't come forth void. He knows that. So he has to get in your ear to break this up, to break up, to break this up, to break up this duality. Here's that dual factor that we're, that we're seeing constantly. Where we're seeing the this and the that. The two, the two factors working together. The prayer and the believing is the duality. So he knows once you send that prayer up and you believe that you will receive it. He knows that when you send your prayer up under the covering of righteousness, that if you believe, you will receive it. So he gets in your ear right away. He gets in your life right away. How does he do that? He'll he'll whisper little stupid things in your ear. Well, it's not it's, it it hasn't happened yet. So or you still having that pain though. You still having that pain. You still got to take them pills. You still got to do this. You still got to do that. I thought God said he was going to heal you. I thought he said he was going to do this. Bookins, no, honey. Honey, no. No, 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 no. Baby, I love you, but you cannot lean on me. It's going to make me hot. Okay? I love you. I love you got to lean on yourself, not on me. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not leaning on you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so he knows that if you have confessed your sins and you are under the covering of righteousness, for the Bible says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So... Your prayers avail once you are covered in righteousness and you are covered in righteousness once you accept Jesus Christ into your heart and you confess your sins unto him. He knows that when that process is done 
and you send your prayers up to him. He knows that when you send your prayers up to him, up to the Lord, and believe that you will receive. So immediately he begins to operate, to work against what you prayed. That operation is him working in your ear. That operation is him working through your sight. Maybe you'll see something that'll say, oh, well, that person wasn't healed. That's why you got to watch what you're watching on TV. That's why you got to watch that as well. Because you'll see things that contradict what you prayed. You'll hear things in your ear that'll contradict what you prayed. You'll feel things in your body, your five senses. He will operate in what? And the flesh. Why? Because flesh, because flesh has sin. So he will operate in your flesh to work against what you just prayed and what you are believing. You need to know that on today. Because just because you pray does not mean that you will not still have symptoms. Remember the flesh, the flesh has sin and the sin and sin operates in the in, in, in conjunction with Satan. So he is going to use what he can to operate against your prayer and to stop your belief. Because even if you send the prayer up, if you don't believe, it's not going to work. And if you believe, but you don't pray, it's not going to work. Do you get this on today? You have to do both. You have to pray, send the prayer up to God, and you have to believe. But if he can get you through your flesh, if he can touch your eyes, if he can touch your ears, if he can touch your, your feelings, your touch, if he can touch your taste, if he can touch anything on you, to cause that belief to break. Then you have just thwarted. You have just thwarted your own prayer. You have just stagnated your own prayer. You have just cut the ties of your own prayer. So he will do anything. He will do anything. To make you either believe sit and uh, believe and not pray. And that's the people that sit in and, and they just believe in. They just believe in. For anything but think that they could do, get it without God. Come on now. If you are believing for something and, and God is not in it. And you are not praying to God. Or you are, are praying to Satan. He will get you to do that. And not pray to God. And then guess what? It's not good. Then you're not going to receive. Or he will get you to pray. And do everything in his power to stagnate or to totally demolish your belief. You've got to know that on today. Jesus is saying this right in this scripture on today. So if you have areas in your life where, where you are seeing that your prayers are not going anywhere. Or you are feeling like. Your prayers are not availing or you're feeling like your prayers are not being answered. Ask yourself, do you have both of these? Are you praying and believing? Reverend Ron, God bless him in heaven. He, he taught me something and I always, I always say this. I'll say this for the rest of my life. I believe that I receive when I pray. I believe that I receive when I pray. You have to, you have to believe that you receive when you pray. Because you need to be praying and believing. You need to be praying and believing so that you can receive. And although he, he has it switched up in, the, in his particular wordage, it's still there. The prayer and the belief is for the receiving. You still need to have your prayer and your belief together. You still need to pray and believe in order to receive. And if you let Satan do it, I'm telling you on today, he, he will, sometimes he'll operate so fast, it's not even funny. You'll literally just get it out your mouth and here comes something to, 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 to totally doubt what you just said. Soon as you get ready, soon as you say, Lord, help me pay these bills, here come a bill. Lord, help me with my body, here come a pain in your body. Lord, help me with this and here come, it, it, it'll happen so fast, it's not even funny. But that's nothing but the trick of the enemy. Believe that you receive when you pray. Believe, I don't even care what it is. I'm not even, I'm not even asking you what it is. 
sometimes, let me tell y'all something else. <laughs> let me give y'all. Sometimes I have prayed for stuff and received some stuff that I wish I could have sent back. I ain't even lying. <laughs> You got to watch what you, what you put in that prayer and that belief in. You want to see some power and dominion? Let me tell you something. Sometimes you're praying, you're asked for some stuff and, and, and really believe it and really be believing it and, 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 and God will let you have it. And then you'll say, my Lord. Oh, I want to send this back. Oh, ain't no sending it back now. <laughs> You got to You got it. That's why you got to be careful. That's why you got to use your power and your dominion and your free will and make sure when you're using it, that you're using it not only under the, uh, not only under the covering of God, but that you are precise and specific and that you really, really, really are understanding the power that you have with your tongue. Cause when you understand that you have power with your tongue, you're very careful about what you ask God for. Some of us are asking God for some stuff and we're asking him for stuff and we're asking him for things, but we don't know the cost behind getting those things. There's a cost. There's a payment. There's, there's things that you have to go through in this life to get what you're asking for. You need to be careful about what you're asking him for. Because when you ask him, he's going to give you what you ask for if you truly are praying and believing. But you need to be prepared to go through what you need to go through in order to receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Let's get ready to go to the, the to the other part. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And so we're going to let me see. We're gonna do this. Comes homework. Homework. Homework is Mark eleven in its entirety. Why do we have homework so so we can understand the pretext and the posttext of the Word of God? Amen. Not only from someone's lips, my lips to your ears, but for yourself. Amen. So you can understand who God is for yourself. You can understand the voice of yourself, the voice of your father, and the voice of your uh, 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 adversary, Satan. And the only way you're going to know that is to know God's voice and to know his word. Amen. And right now, let me stop right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus out of any mind, body, and spirit on today. Any heart on today, I rebuke even, 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 even the spirit of hateration, even the spirit of evil doing, and then even, even the spirit of enemy. And God, in the name of Jesus, anybody that's doing that, Father, stop it in the name of Jesus. Put Jesus Christ into their hearts so that they could be a blessing to themselves, a blessing to, and a blessing to others, Father. And if anybody sees us as a hater, evil doer, or enemy, God, change that dynamic to sister, brother, and friend, Christian and friend. God, mend all broken pieces in people out today. Any broken parts in them out today in the name of Jesus. Mend all internal organs. Mend all broken hearts out today, whether it be through relationships or friendships or through grief. Help us and strengthen us, Lord, in your name. In Jesus Christ's name, say la and amen and amen and amen. God just brought that to my remembrance that I forgot to say that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So. Jesus is speaking in this text again. It goes down. Jesus comes to, to Jerusalem as king. That goes from 1 to 11. Then from 12 to our scripture is under the covering of Jesus curses a fig tree. I think that's, yes, it is. And this is also in the NIV version, so it's the same. So we're going to go down, down, down. Let's go from 22 to 20. We're going to go 22 to 26. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is speaking. Have faith in God, Jesus answered. Truly, I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt it doubt in their heart but believes that what they say will happen it will be done for them jesus is saying right here listen have faith in god we got to have faith in god we got to have faith in god we have faith in a lot of stuff other than god we got faith in our cable company we got faith well i don't have cable I, i'm unplugged i stream but we have faith we have faith in our uh uh uh, uh, uh streaming companies we have faith in our cable companies. We have faith in our gas bill, our electric bill, our water bill. We have faith that if we paid that bill, you better hear this on today. <laughs> we have faith. 
We got faith that if we pay the bill, that it will be on. We got faith that if we go and pay our bill, whatever that bill may be, that it's going to be on. We got faith that if we pay our credit card, our credit card is going to work. We got faith that if we pay our car note, we can keep our car. We got faith that if we pay on our house or we buy our house, that it is ours. We have faith that if we do this or this or this or this or that, that the, 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 that what we put out is what we're going to get back. That what we pay is what we're going to receive. That what we pay for, we are going to receive what we pay for. We have faith in that. And these are all fallible things. <laughs> Do you realize that these are all fallible things? That these are all things that can falter and fail? I don't, you can pay your water into the water until you ain't got no more money. And they can still cut it off. May not be ethical. May not be right. Make you go to court about it. But they can still do it. You could pay your gas bill. May not be ethical. May not be right. Could cut it off. My daughter was just telling me the other day that this lady in New Jersey, she paid her, her, her gas bill. And she need, I mean, not her gas bill, her electric bill. They cut off her electric bill anyway. And the lady was on a breathing machine. It literally cut her off and killed that elderly lady. And she paid the bill and they still cut it off. I want you to hear this on today. Y'all better hear this on today. You could pay that credit card bill. And they could and they could and they could say, oh, you paid the bill, and we're gonna cut this, we're gonna cut this off. We're not going to let you use it no more. We'll cut it off. Yeah, and you could continue to pay it until it's all paid up. You could continue to pay it until it's all paid up and you, you're not going to be able to use credit on it anymore. There's a lot of things that you could pay and that you can do that could get cut off. You could pay. You could pay for your cable. You could pay for your phone. You could pay for your cell phone. They could still cut it off. May not be ethical. You may have to go down there and, 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 and read some people they rights. <laughs> but it could still be cut off. But we have faith that that's not going to happen. We have faith, more faith in that not happening than in God. How is that? How could that possibly happen? How could we possibly be so mixed up like that? Seriously. And when I think about it, I have to sit here and I have to, I'm raising my hand right now. Lord, I repent of that. How do I have more faith in people to do stuff than you? Oh, God, help me. Help me, Jesus. Help us all. Help us all. Look at those people in, in places where they had severe weather uh, conditions. They paid their bills, I'm sure. But it didn't matter whether they paid the bills or not. If the, if, the, if, the, if, the, if the poles aren't up, if the electricity isn't flowing, it don't matter if the bill was paid or not. It's still down. It's still not working. It's still not working. And we'll feel more entitled for that to be done if we pay a bill than, than if we send up a prayer to God. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. How can we think that the electric man is stronger than our prayer? How can we think that the gas man is stronger than our prayer? How can we think that, that, that paying the phone bill is stronger than our prayer? We rely on friends. We rely on family. We rely on coworkers or, 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 or clientele. We rely on things. We rely on people. And I know what it's like to have people that you, you know, I, because of me dealing with sales and other different things. I know what it's like to have people who are my clients, who are people that I, that, that I sell things to. But I rely on them that if they, that, 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 that their money is going to come through and that I'm going to give them that product. We rely on that, though. We, we, we have faith in that. If I produce a product that they will produce, a, 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 I, could, I could give them a product and receive a profit. I, could, I, 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 I have it down to a science with that. Because I love helping people. But at the same token, God is saying, how could you believe in that more than you believe in me? How could you believe in that more than you believe in the power of prayer? My son gave his life for you to have life and life more abundantly. And you'll believe in the gas company keeping your gas on more than, than, than Jesus Christ? More than you sending up a prayer? You think that your prayer is less valuable than a paid bill? 
Lord have mercy on today. Lord have mercy. God is saying the devil is a liar today. The devil is a liar. All of that is fallible. Like I said, all of that could break down and fail. Sales could stop. All the things that you pay for could still be cut off. All you're doing is answering to other people, other people who are fallible. But when you pray to God, our father is indomitable. Our father is undefeated. Our father is, is unfailing. Our father, our father is, 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 is the maker of heaven and earth. How could we not believe when we send our prayer up that it won't be answered? How could we not believe that if we tell that mountain to move and jump it? Jesus said, if you throw it into, you could tell it to go throw itself into the sea. And it'll happen. God, we thank you. God, we thank you. And if you do not doubt in your heart, but believe that what you say will happen, it will be done for you, for them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for, God, I thank you. Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. You got to believe that you have received it right now. That is how your faith is operating. And your faith isn't operating on what you can figure out in yourself. Your faith isn't operating in what you can see. What you could work out your A, B, C, and D plans. Your faith operates when you can't see nothing. No evidence of it happening. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. And the evidence of things not seen. That is your faith. And if you have faith. And believe. That you have received it right now without any evidence. Without any evidence. Without any evidence. It will be yours. And when you stand praying. If you hold anything against anyone. Forgive them. So that your father in heaven may forgive you your sins. So Jesus also is putting another part to that. It's not just about having faith and believing and receiving and praying. Also, as you are standing, he said, while you're still standing there, <laughs> while you're still believing, while you're still praying, while you're still asking, forgive people. Don't you hold on to that oh, unforgiveness. And block your blessing. Don't you hold on to that grudge and block your blessing. Don't you hold on to that meanness and that and that and that, that, that vengefulness and that malice. Ain't nothing but the trick of the enemy. Ain't nothing but Satan. Because when you're operating in those things, you're operating for the kingdom of Satan. Because those things are not of God. So if you're wondering why things are not going through, ask yourself, do you have forgiveness in your heart? Have you forgiven? I had to do a lot of forgiveness this year, y'all. I had to do a lot of forgiveness. I had to do some forgiveness I didn't want to do. I ain't even going to lie. <laughs> I ain't even going to lie. But let me tell you something. I needed a breakthrough in my life. And I needed a breakthrough for my kids. And my children and my grandchildren. My great-grandchildren. The grand grandchildren great-grandchildren that ain't even here. I need for the rest of my generations to come to be blessed. And I re refuse to be the one to stop that growth. I refuse to be the one to stagnate the, uh, the, 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 the treasures that God has for them to, to stop them from receiving their inheritance, inheritance. I refuse to make them think that being mean and angry and evil and nasty is the way to be. I refuse to teach them that that is being indomitable. I learned stuff like that as a child. I thought that that was making, uh, that, that, that made my mother strong. I thought that made my great aunt strong because they were, they were, they were, they were, uh, I mean, they were just ruthless with the violence and the, and the, the cursing of their bowels and the violence. And I loved them to death and I still love them to death. My mother accepted the Lord before she left this earth. God bless her. 
God bless her. And I hope my aunt did too. I really truly do. Because I'm telling you right now, I learned that being angry and grudgeful and mean and cursing people out and kicking people behind was, 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 that was, that was strength. But God had to change my whole mindset. He had to change it all. I literally will weep before I, I, I curse somebody out. I literally will weep before I try to do anything harmful to somebody. It does the opposite. Now, God will put a conviction on my heart to just cry. And it looks like I'm being weak and it looks like I'm being a, 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 it looks like I'm being a wimp, but I'd rather be that than to curse somebody out. I'd rather be that than to, than, 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 than to hurt, hit somebody and hurt somebody. I'd rather be that than to go to jail. I'd rather be that than to be angry. I'd rather be that than to be unforgiving. I'd rather ball my eyes out than to, than, to, than to be anything like Satan or to operate in his kingdom. I'd rather do it than to operate in Satan's kingdom. I will literally cry until I don't have any more tears left. And I had to ask God to help me. And he did and he relieved me. And he's still working on things in my life and I thank him for it. I got hurt really bad in my last relationship. Really, really bad. And I had to ask God to forgive that person. For what he did to me. I had to ask God to forgive my ex-husband. For all the stuff that he did to me. I had to ask God to forgive. People, places and things. Friends. So called family members. For doing things to me. Whether they want to. Whether they want to. Apologize back. That's on them. I didn't even look for apologies. I'm not even looking for an apology back. I don't want an apology back. But if they did give it to me, I would accept it. Because God also wants us to confess our sins one to another. So that there can be healing on both sides. But you know what? It's all right if they don't. Because I, I, I said, God, just put forgiveness in my heart. Let me forgive. And he did that for me. And I'm telling you on today, if you are, forg if you are forgiving people. And you are putting your prayers up after you confess to God. And accept Jesus Christ into your heart. If you are under the cover of righteousness and you put them prayers up and you believe it in your heart and you are forgiving, God is going to give. I mean, there's nothing. He, Honey, he's going to pour it all out. He's going to pour it out for you. Your cup is going to run over. I don't care what somebody do to you. Just brush, brush it off. Brush it off. Brush it off. I think it was. I want to say it was Paul. The apostle that snake went and bit him. As he was preaching and, and they and, and everybody looked around because they just knew he was going to be dead because that snake bit him. And he shook that, that snake off and kept on moving. And that's how you got to shake off hurt. That's how you got to shake off pain. That's how you got to shake off anger. That's how you got to shake off people doing harm. There, there's some heinous stuff that people do. There's some heinous, un, unhumanistic stuff that people do to you, y'all. I am telling you on today. I know it to be true. I know it. There's some things you can't even tell people that has happened to you that's happened to you. But you got to forgive. Not for them, for yourself. Because harboring all that evil and nastiness is all it's going to do is stagnate your growth in the kingdom. All it's going to do is stagnate your kids in the kingdom. Your grandkids. Teach them a way of being and have that bitterness built up inside of them. And then they be bitter. And then the people after them be bitter. And then the people after them be bitter. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth out today. And if you are dealing with any of that out that, uh, today, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke unforgiveness from you right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I rebuke faithlessness and unbelief from you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You need a breakthrough. You need a breakthrough. We all need a breakthrough. We all need things. And you need them breakthroughs to flow like the living waters. You need those breakthroughs to flow like a waterfall for you and every generation you have to come. And you ain't got time for the devil to be play playing with your life and with the life of others. There's some people you walk past every single day that's just out of their mind and you need God to do a breakthrough for them and for you to be able to pray and, 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 and cast out whatever it is that's causing that instability in their life. But you can't do that if you all bottled up in unforgiveness and sin. Shonda the God you teaching on today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. So I thank God for this word out today. Know that whatever you ask for in prayer, whatever you ask for, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe it, receive it, believe it and receive it. Think of the words of Reverend Ron. God bless him in heaven. I believe that I receive when I pray. I believe that I receive when I pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And let's get ready to close out. Okay, now raise your hand for the Lord's Prayer. You got to come over here, honey, so they can hear you. Okay. Raise your hand for the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, how are you raising your hand? Our Father who art in heaven, how it be in our name. Now, kingdom come, our will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our day, our daily bread, and we forgive our debts as we forgive our debt to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine and the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Say lot and amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So homework is Mark 11. Please uh, stand by wait, for the Facebook put, comments, please. Wait. Hey, when you put that up, it says install the app now. Yes, yeah, so make sure you install the Bible app, www.bible.com and www.biblegateway.com to your electronic device. And as you can see, the word of God is going around the world because more and more people are downloading the app. And although I am not a vendor, sponsor, affiliate, Bible or app. associate of the Bible app or the Bible Gateway, I'm glad that God uses this particular tool, these particular tools uh, uh, as a part of my ministry. I'm very grateful and thankful and, 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 and blessed by God to be able to do what I do. I love it. I love that he operates through me and I lean on him for everything. And I ask in the name of Jesus Christ and by the blood of Jesus Christ that you, that God covers you in his blood and that you have a wonderful, safe and blessed rest of your day. Um, and that you give your best gifts, not only to this ministry, but to sister Trina Michelle and to, uh, the ASPCA, all of it helps, all of it helps y'all. And God bless you. God bless you. And God bless you. Tonight, I will be posting the um, the the new verse for tomorrow with our homework. So you get a jump on the homework for tomorrow. And um, God bless you. And we will talk again, God willing, tomorrow for another verse of the day. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.